Hey everybody, this is Tom GJ Airport and I'm doing an airport update which I haven't done one in a long time since I've been to New York for two weeks. Um, yeah, I'm uh, doing an airport update. Um, so let's just get on with it. Parked here at this gate into the BA82R72 200. Prepping, uh, just boarding the passengers and prepping for bush pack. Push back, uh, and then it's going off to the Isle of Man. Uh, and oh man, it would not take that long to get there from here. But there it is prepping, being serviced there, right there. Uh, that gate spare because, well, um, I think uh, the BA over there, some few sandwiches coming from Zurich. Um, is gonna come around and swing around into the gate there, and as um yeah, and uh I listen to her. Departure gate C nine. I'll be going departing later on. And. On runway 08R, there is Turkish Airlines B737-800. Uh, taking off to go to Istanbul and Turk. Um, and here is US Airways 8330-300 going off to Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, yes, it's pretty busy. Moment. And here is Air Mexico code triple seven two hundred ER, and that's off to New Mexico City. Then it'd be off to uh, Narita, Tokyo. After that, and you can just you can see the two tails of the A three eighties, Singapore there, Qantas in the far for this gate, and over there you can see the Virgin tail parked at the gate over there. Um, yeah, it's really busy at the moment. Um, and as you can see over there, last of the Laris 320. Oh god, sorry guys, for making it so jerky. Last of the Laris 320. And other virgin in there, and the other virgins in there. And I haven't mentioned this before, but I get you, I bet you, I think you guys. Seen this in my other videos, but I forgot to mention I have stuck a big sticker on the back of my hanger and on the front. I'd have thought it would be a bit like Heathrow, which me and County 240 might be going to Heathrow on Monday, but it's depending on the weather wise. So, yeah, it's depending on the weather, hopefully, it will change. And here is the hangar department. Uh, yes. Uh, Loris, like I said, right there. And then, um, Air 2000 there, and Miami there. Virgin, birthday girl there, Virgin Mustang Sally, and Virgin Ruby Tuesday, which is going to be off to Orlando, like, in a minute. It's just Borden's final few passengers, it's going to be off. It can't push back yet, because, well, the BA is right there. Um, like I said before, uh, uh, Auburn International, the CEO of Auburn International, is thinking about constructing the whole airport, building another runway and another terminal. But it's going to close down the whole airport. If it, if, but they're thinking about it, it's going to close down the whole airport, do the whole refurbishment to the airport, but the terminal, like, say, in the middle. Like a big one right there, and that one, they're going to move it to there. Shoot the runway over there, runway over there, and a hangar right there, and another, that's what the tunnel's going to be. So the hangars will be there, but it's going to be bigger. So that's a good thing, and I'm looking forward to it, but that's if they do, that's if they do construct the airport. Uh, so there's the old airport. Looking down the runway of OAR, as you can see, 
somehow the BA77 box has got sent to my mate, and I still got the Turkish Airlines box there. And there's the Turkish Airlines up to Istanbul. Uh, US Airways 330 waiting to taxi onto the runway. And Air Mexico taxiing up. And Virgin and Swiss Tails. Qantas Tail. Singapore Tail. Iceland Air Tail. And the ATR. And uh, of course the control tower. And there is the first choice hanger. You can see bit of the year 2000 in it. Yeah. It is uh, really busy today at the airport. Uh, yeah. I won't say that it's busiest. Well, this is as busy as it gets, practically. Like, well, its busiest day was kind of after the bad weather conditions, and there was loads of planes going. And and the, the planes go here, like, whatever way the wind direction's going. Uh, it goes, like... Well, it depends, really. It's not to do with the wind, sorry. I didn't know why I said that. But sometimes they go up on the runway, this side of the and this under the runway. Sometimes they go with that end of the runway and take off down the runway and take off there. Uh, yeah, and uh, that's where the conditions like when it's sunny, it'll take off this runway. If it's like green, it take off the other end. Um, yeah, pretty busy. Couple of spaces left. It's only like. Two spaceship spaces. No, th uh, three. Is it? Yeah, three, because including the gate there, because that's where the Turkish Airlines was. Yeah, and uh, as you can see, there's a Virgin Tail attached to the terminal there, just to let people know that this is the one and truly name of uh, Virgin Atlantic. And I'm going to give you some guys news. Uh, there's only one piece of news, really. Uh, and that is Virgin Atlantic are starting to do domestic routes from London Heathrow to Manchester. And to me, I think they might be getting some A319s and A320s, which I would love to see that. But they're doing that to fight against British Airways, because British Airways fly from Heathrow to Manchester using A319s. And 320s. So yeah, they're trying to battle because uh, um, British Airways is their rival, Virgin. Yeah, and here is down the runway, the runway 08R, Turkish Airlines. So two boxes, BA734. And US Airways A three three three, and at uh, Air Mexico B seven seven two, Virgin B seven four four, uh Qantas A three eight eight, Singapore A three eight eight, um Iceland Air seven five three, and HR seventy two two hundred. Uh, I think that kind of does it for today. Oh, and uh, B744, little B744, 752, A322, and A332. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so Monday, me and my friend can 3214 might be going back to Heathrow, doing some clean spotting. But yeah, uh, you know it's weather conditions, so yeah, we'll have to think about it. So this is Tom DJ Airport signing out, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.